2022 Chevrolet Bolt EV Review The Chevrolet Bolt EV is a small all-electric hatchback that has quickly become one of the most affordable and popular electric vehicles on the market. Chevrolet has made a number of changes for 2022 that increase the car's appeal even more. More comfortable front seats, a redesigned cabin, an updated styling that looks less dorky than before or on the way. A suite of safety features, including forward collision warning and lane keeping assist, is now standard. Blind spot monitoring, a 360-degree camera, and adaptive cruise control are among the options. Unfortunately, GM Super Cruise System is not available on the Bolt hatchback but it is available as an option on the new Chevrolet Bolt EV crossover. The Bolt EV retains the same powertrain as before, with an EP estimated range of 259 miles on a full charge. We discovered that it outperforms slightly, covering 278 miles in real-world testing. Overall, this is a reasonable amount of range for an EV at this price. Chevy has also improved the 2022 Bolt's ability to recharge faster on 240 volt power, though you'll most likely need to install a special charging station to take full advantage of it at home. Overall, we like the updated Chevrolet Bolt 2022. However, the Bolt's recent battery recall may cause you to reconsider as a long-term reliability concern and it may be difficult to find a Bolt for sale early in the model year. Meanwhile, more appealing EV are available than ever before, including the Ford Mustang mach -E, Hyundai Kona EV, Kiniro EV, Tesla Model 3, and Volkswagen ID4. Check out our expert rating to see how our testing team rated the Bolt's performance, technology features, and more. How does the Bolt EV get around? In our testing, the Bolt went from 0 to 60 mph in 6.9 seconds, which is fairly quick for an EV in this price range. You can easily merge onto freeways and overtake when necessary. If you don't want to use the single pedal mode to do most of your slowing from regenerative braking, the Bolt's brakes are consistent and easy to control. We prefer the latter because it requires less effort and increases range. For those who want to maximize energy recovery, there's even an additional steering wheel region braking paddle. The Bolt responds to steering input smoothly and predictably. The steering feel and feedback are excellent, and the car maintains a straight line on the highway without requiring the driver's full attention. The Bolt feels agile and sure-footed as the road begins to curve. How spacious is the Bolt EV? In comparison to previous model years, the front seats now have adequate cushioning. On long road trips, they are no longer a literal pain in the backside, though we still think they could use a little more thigh bolstering. The ride quality of the Bolt, on the other hand, remains overly busy and choppy due to the suspension's inability to absorb pavement cracks and sharp edge potholes. The Bolt is smooth when the pavement is smooth. The updated climate controls are simple, with redundant functions on the touchscreen and physical buttons below the screen. The system responds quickly, and the 2LT trim includes heated front seats and steering wheel as standard. We also like the quiet cabin of the Bolt. When noise is not a problem, how is the inside? The controls are well organized, with a convenient volume knob and tune buttons to the left of the touchscreen. The transmission controls, which are now a row of buttons rather than the previous Bolt's traditional shift lever, take some getting used to. The digital instrument panel can be configured to display important information such as battery status, driver efficiency, and power output. A height adjustable driver's seat and a generous telescoping steering wheel made it easy to get comfortable behind the wheel. All of the doors open wide, and the roof line is tall all the way to the rear hatch. The Bolt feels much larger inside than you might expect with the exception of its width. The cabin is a bit narrow but there's plenty of head and legroom. Peekaboo windows help you see past the front roof pillars, 
and an available 360 degree camera system aids visibility. How's the technology? Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support are standard. Because an integrated navigation system is not available, these smartphone integration systems are the only option for in-car navigation. The screen is large and responsive. Two front USB ports, one regular and one USB-C are standard, and the two LT trim adds additional ports for rear passengers. The Bolt comes standard with forward collision mitigation and lane keeping assist, and the two LT adds blind spot monitoring and a surround view camera system. These driver aids perform admirably in general, though we found that the adaptive cruise control, optional for the two LT brakes a little too late for comfort when set to the closest distance sitting. How is the storage situation? Considering its size, the Bolt has plenty of room inside for small items. Front door pockets, center console, and glovey box are sufficient. There's also a plus-sized phone cubby with a wireless charger in front of the transmission gear selector, as well as an open space under the center console for a handbag or something of similar size. The cargo area is smaller than the competition, measuring 16.6 cubic feet behind the rear seats. But it's still useful, and it has a floor panel that can be removed to carry bulkier items or used as hidden storage. The Bolt is also an excellent choice for family taxi service. The child safety seat anchors are easily accessible, and there are top tethers on all three rear seat positions. The rear doors open wide enough to accommodate bulky rear-facing seats. How do the range and efficiency compare? According to the EPA, the Bolt can travel 259 miles on a single charge, making it one of the best ranges in the segment for the price. It is also expected to travel 100 miles for every 28 kWh of electricity consumed. The Bolt was able to travel 278 miles on a single charge in Edmund's real-world EV range testing at a slightly more efficient 25.7 kWh per 100 miles. Given that the Nissan LEAF returned 237 miles in our testing in the Mini C150 miles, the Bolt clearly has a range advantage over the competition. The Bolt comes with an upgraded dual-level charge cord that allows owners to switch between 120 volt and 240 volt charging. To fully utilize the new Bolt's more powerful 11 kW onboard charger, up from 7.7 kW, you'll need dedicated wall charging hardware, as the included cord only supports 7.2 kW. The Bolt's fast charging speed is limited to 55 kilowatts which is nearly half the speed of the Nissan LEAF.